Hello, welcome. It's Ja from Medieval Mirage here. As I have uh, many images in my Etsy store that are delivered to you in zip file folder, um, currently and in the new future, I just thought I would just give you a walkthrough as to how to extract your images if they come down come to you in a zip file folder whether it's from my Etsy store or whatever other store you purchase from. I thought I'd give you um, this run through just to give you confidence in how to use them. So I hope this will be helpful to you. Um, let's have a look. Now as you would know uh, by now that your downloads from any site goes to your download page. And right here, you can see the zip file folder, which is from my Alice in Wonderland digital pack, paper packs. They're 12 by 12. If you're interested in Alice in Wonderland pattern paper, please do visit my store. I'll have a link below for you to check it out if you're interested. Now, I'm going to show you two ways of doing this. The first way is the simplest way. All you have to do is click on it twice and you will notice that there's no pictures um, showing up here. It seems to be the way on my computer anyway which is a Windows 10 um, just in case you're wondering and don't panic if you don't see any images it's just a compressed file system um, but if you look up here where I've got my cursor you will see an, an icon that says Extract All. All you have to do is click on it and the dialog box comes up. It asks you to select a destination and extract files. Um, this is going to go straight into your download page. Very simple. But if you wanted it to go to another destination, you can browse and choose a new destination. But basically, it's just simpler for now just to stick with your download page. Everything will be nice and tidy there. And that means all you have to do is just press extract. And voila! There you go. Your images are now available for use in your craft project projects. So these are just some of the Alice in Wonderland um, themed papers that I've created in my store. Now when you click back out of that file, you'll see they're both the same name, but one now is a, an accessible file that's been created, and this is your original, your compressed file. So this is where you can get your images from. Now say, for example, on your computer, this um, this doesn't show up. I'm not sure. I, I'm just I'm just saying let's let's go worst case scenario. Go, oh no, I haven't got it. That's okay. Let's do something a little bit different. Well what I would do is see how I've got my cursor there, you just click on it. And then on your keyboard you have a shift key. So that's just a shift key. Just press that down, so you shift key, and keep it pressed down. Keep that shift key pressed down, and then click on the, all the rest of your images. And then with your mouse, right click, and it opens up these options. Just click on to copy, and then we want to go out of this into our original download um, page and then with your mouse again press uh, um, click right right click I should say and it allows you to paste click that and voila there's your pages again now available for you to use in your to print and use in your craft projects so that's it really nice and simple so I hope that's been of help to you 
Um, if it was, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're new here, I do want to say a warm welcome. Please consider subscribing because I intend to have more videos like this in the near future. But to all of you, I really appreciate your company today and I wish you a very happy day. Thanks again. All the best. Bye.